properties of square numbers. In this module, you will learn the properties of square numbers. Let us learn about the properties of square numbers. Let us observe the unit digit of square numbers. Do you observe any pattern in the unit digit of the given square numbers? As we see, the square number ends with either 0 or 1 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 9 at its units place. As we know, the digit at units place of any number is 0 to 9. So, we say that a square number always ends with either 0 or 1 or 4, or 5, or 6, or 9 at its units place. Let's see some more numbers whose unit digit is 0. Do you observe any pattern in the squares of given numbers? The number of zeros at the end of the square number is double the number of zeros in the number at the end. Can a square number have an odd number of zeros? No, no square number can have an odd number of zeros as the square of any number ends with a zero at the units place, then we get two at the end of it. The number of zeros at the end of the square number is double the number of zeros in number. And you can also observe that a square number always has an even number of zeros at its end. A number with odd number of zeros is never a square of any number. Let us observe the numbers which have 4 or 6 at units place and their squares. Do you observe any pattern in squares of these numbers? The numbers having either 4 or 6 at their units place always have 6 at their units place of square numbers. Let us observe the numbers having 1 or 9 at its units place and their squares. Do you observe any pattern in the squares of given numbers? If a number has 1 or 9 at its units place, then its square always ends with 1. Let us see the numbers having 5 at units place and their squares. Do you observe any pattern in squares of given numbers? If a two or more digit number has five at its units place, then its square always ends with 25. Let's see one trick to find the square of any number that ends with five. Let us consider a two digit number that ends with five, that is x5. We find its square as the square of x5. We write the expanded form of x5 as 10x plus 5 square. We will find the square of 10x plus 5 by drawing a square of length 5 plus 10x. We will find the area of the square AEFO by drawing a square HDGO of length 5, the rectangle ABDH 5 by 10x the rectangle DCFG 10x by 5 and the square BECD of length 10x. The area of the square AEFO is the area of the square BECD plus area of rectangle ABDH plus area of the rectangle DCFG plus area of the square HDGO. We get 10x square plus 50x plus 50x plus 5 square. This is equal to 100x into x plus 1 plus 25. Here, we see the last two digits of the square number must be 25 and the rest of the digits are a multiplication of two consecutive numbers multiplied by 100 let us take an example to find the square of 85. By applying the above trick, 
we write the square of 85 as 100 into 8 into 9 plus 25 as here x is 8. In 7225, we observe that the last two digits are 25 and previous digits are multiplication of two consecutive numbers 8 and 9. We observe that the last two digits are 25 and previous digits are multiplication of two consecutive numbers. Let's recap. A square number ends with either 0 or 1 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 9 at its units place. The number of zeros at the end of a square number is double the number of zeros in number at the end. A square number always has an even number of zeros at its end. A number with odd number of zeros is never a square of any number. Numbers having either 4 or 6 at their units place always have 6 at their units place of square number. If a number has 1 or 9 at its units place, then its square always ends with 1. If a 2 or more digit numbers have 5 at their units place, then the square always ends in 25. You can find the square of a number by simply taking the digit or digits in front of the 5 and considering those as a number. Multiply that with the next number. Then tag 25 to the answer you got in the previous step.